can taste this trying to be deep and shit. But it's not. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Into the Tall Grass. Admittedly, I'm actually reviewing this just before I go off to work, so it might be a little bit expediated. But at least to say, this movie has ideas that make it very unique. There is some ideas that actually make it kind of cool. However, the delivery is so ham-fisted that it kind of loses its appeal. Uh, between the acting being really cheesy and some of the uh, parts being kind of just not explained for the sake of not being explained. Now I know that sometimes you can go through a story and not explain its power or its essence or kind of the reason why it is to be as long as you have a narrative that kind of weaves around it that makes it interesting. For instance, I just finished listening to Stephen King's 112263 where a guy goes through a time portal that was in the back of this fridge of a diner back to 1958 and he just decides to stop the assassination of JFK. Now it's not really explained but there's enough relevance around the portal mainly with the yellow card man and the idea of time itself that you kind of get that. Into the Tall Grass tries to do that itself. It's just so vague with all of its aspects, teeters around it so much and then you're left with the acting, which is kind of horrible from a lot of people in this movie. It's directed by the same guy who directed Cube, which I hear is a Canadian horror classic, to the point where the guy even makes a full-on reference to it at the end of the movie. I swear that room is a full-on reference to Cube because it looks like the poster. This movie has you, for the first about 30 minutes, I had had me for the first 30 minutes, it's like, oh, this is a cool idea, okay, the grass is fucking with them, there's these weird little kind of fuckings with time. However, later on in the movie, we realize that there's some problems with the movie. For instance, when the characters jump up in the air to see each other, and then they do it again, and they're way further apart, that was a bit of a mind fuckery. But then because of this little tidbit, you realize that people standing still is just as useful as the dead bodies thing. The consistency of how the grass works in this movie is not exactly as spot on as it should be. And then again, the acting. I was laughing every time Patrick Wilson started to ham it up. Admittedly, he gets really fucking funny later on in the movie, not intentionally. I did like how some of the cinematography worked, but eventually it started to become very repetitive. And it's not just because it was in the tall grass all the time. It just starts to become kind of repetitive. There are a few moments where you're literally going to be going, Whoa. But then it doesn't keep with you. It loses that whoa factor quite quickly, surprisingly, despite the imagery you're seeing. And by the end of the movie, I kind of just felt like I had been robbed of an hour and 40 minutes. I understand there's a level of complexity that this movie was trying to portray, and maybe it could have been better executed, but it just comes off as cheesy to me in this movie, and it's not long-lasting. It's just a Netflix movie again, which suffers from that curse of being not a good movie. But in the end, my final rating for Into the Tall Grass is a 2 out of 7. I just didn't enjoy it. I've seen that a lot of other people don't enjoy it. I know that there's more to it, and there is. It's clear as day. You can see it throughout the whole movie. However, it's just so forced. It kind of reminds me of Ad Astro, with just how its themes and whatnot were so literal that you're like, okay, I get it. This movie doesn't really have much subtlety to it. Anyways guys, what did you think of Into the Tall Grass? Let me know. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.